alaikum and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amina Taqi and I am an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of the show and the aim of this program is for us to be able to provide you with all the information and skills and knowledge that you need to be able to improve your health and not just in the short term but also in the long term. Both your health and your well-being is very important and this show will provide you with the information that you need to be able to do that in the long term. Today's episode is all about exercise and uh, exercising while fasting. Now, the general recommendation for exercise for an average adult in the UK is to do 150 minutes um, of moderate to vigorous exercise a week. Two of those uh, two uh, times um, of that 150 minutes should be strength-based exercises that work all of the different muscles in your body. Now, you can always play around with this to see how that suits you best and how you can fit in those 150 minutes as part of your week and has, as part of your lifestyle. If you want to do more of the moderate exercise, then that means you should aim for a minimum of 150 minutes and more than that. Um, if you're doing um, more of the vigorous exercise, you could probably reduce those 150 minutes to 75 minutes to, and ensuring that you also, you're also you also doing the uh, strength-based exercises. Um, so how, what is moderate exercise or what is vigorous exercise? Moderate exercise is things like walking, while vigorous exercise is things like jogging. An easy test that you can do is what we call the talk test. So if you're doing exercise and you can walk, talk normally, then you're most likely doing an, a type of exercise or activity that's very low impact, it's very low in, term, in, in terms of the intensity. If, you're, um, if you find yourself uh, a little bit out of breath or you're finding it hard to talk, then that's a bit more moderate. If you completely can't, then you're doing quite vigorous exercise. So it's a combination of both of those um, that is recommended um, to do a week. In terms of the strength-based exercises, that's things like lifting weights, for example, using resistance bands, go up and down the stairs, things like Pilates and yoga, all of those are considered to be um, strength-based exercises. A combination of all of those, that is what's recommended to use all of the different muscles to ensure all of the benefits of physical activity. Now, when you're fasting, um, you might try to take it a little bit easier. So if you already have a certain routine when it comes to your exercise, um, make sure that you're um, either reducing the intensity or reducing the time or trying to um, reduce the number of um, times that you do any of those exercises. So take it easy, for example, on your cardio exercises because when you're fasting, you're, um, you don't have that quick energy supplies from, from food. Um, it's always best as well to do the exercise after you break your fast rather than when you're fasting because you, you'll have the energy that you need to do those exercises. Um, a lot of people, for example, prefer to do the exercise a few hours after they, fa after they break their fast. Um, other people, for example, break their fast on a light meal, go do the exercise and then go back and have a balanced meal. So find out what is it that works for you. But definitely for the month of Ramadan, it's important to try and do, uh, try and stay active as much as possible, even during the times when you are fasting, because that will help keep your mind focused and it will give you those um, extra benefits. But this is not necessarily the month to be running a marathon. So take it easy and make sure that you're still doing something, but maybe not what you normally do. That's it for today's uh, session, for today's uh, episode. And I hope now you've got more of an idea about the exercise and uh, what you can still be doing during the month of fasting. Remember as well to stay hydrated when you do the exercise. That's also very important. Thank you for joining us today and Mastanama. Mm -hmm.